Nicholas, Little Nick Corazzo, born March 17, 1940, is an American New York mobster who is the reputed acting boss of the Gambino crime family. Biography Nicholas Corozo was born on Pitkin Avenue in the Brownsville neighborhood of Brooklyn. Nicholas Corazzo's first headquarters was located in a small candy store on the corner of Eastern Kwai and Atlantic Avenue in the Ocean Hill section of Brooklyn, known as The Hill to his crew members. He later opened a social club next to the candy store which became his new headquarters. Corazzo later moved his headquarters to the Canarsie section of Brooklyn. Nicholas is the older brother of alleged reputed Gambino consigliere Joseph, Jojo, Carozo as well as twin brothers Blaze Carozo, a Gambino soldier, and Anthony Carozo who is an associated of the Gambino crime family. Anthony Carozo was a longtime parishioner of Our Lady of Loreto Church located at the corner of Pacific Street and Sackman Street in Brownsville, Brooklyn where he attended regular Sunday Mass. Anthony Carozo along with his lifelong friend and Gambino crime family associate Dominic Mondelli aka Donnie Mondelli were well known for organizing neighborhood reunions and charitable events for the church for decades. Nicholas Carozo is the uncle of Joseph Carozo Jr., a high-profile New York defense attorney. Nicholas' daughter, Bernadette, is married to Gambino associate Vincent Dragonetti. Prior to Corazzo's incarceration, he lived in Belmore, Long Island. He stands at 5 feet 5 inch tall and weighs approximately 170 pounds. Rise to family boss during the early 1980s, Nicholas Caruso was a bitter rival of Gambino capo John Gotti. When Gotti became boss in 1985, he declined to promote Caruso to capo. However, since Caruso was such a good earner for the family, Gotti did not want to get rid of him. In turn, Caruso professed loyalty to Gotti. It was only after Gotti went to prison in 1992 that Caruso was finally promoted to Caporgime, along with Gambino soldier Leonard Lenny de Maria. With Gotti in prison, Corazzo de Maria, and Nicholas' brother Joseph, now the alleged consigliere, formed a ruling panel that unofficially ran the Gambino family. In the mid-1990s, Caruso was elevated to acting boss of the family. In 1996, Caruso allegedly ordered the murder of Lucchese crime family associate Robert Arena. Arena had allegedly murdered Anthony Placido, a member of Corazzo's crew, and had failed to return some stolen marijuana to a drug dealer. On June 26, 1996, the Gambino gunman found Arena driving with Thomas Marangula, an Arena childhood acquaintance with no criminal connections, in the Mill Basin section of Brooklyn. After forcing Arena to stop the car, the gunman shot and killed both men. However, till this day, there is no concrete evidence that Caruso ordered the murder of Robert Arena. Florida arrest in December, 1996, Caruso was indicted in Miami. Florida on 20 racketeering charges that included attempted murder, arson, and loan sharking. Corazzo was accused of running a loan sharking business in Deerfield Beach, Florida that charged 260% yearly interest on loans. Federal agents arrested Corazzo as he emerged from the surf at a beach in Key Biscayne, Florida. In August 1997, Caruso pleaded guilty to racketeering charges in Florida and was sentenced to 5 to 10 years in prison. Later that year, Caruso again pleaded guilty in Brooklyn to racketeering and bribing a jail guard. While in federal prison, Caruso shared a cell with Gambino associate Joseph Valaro, who was serving a drug conviction. After his release, Valaro started paying tribute to Corazzo's crew on a trucking company he started. However, Facing another drug conviction in 2004, Valaro agreed to become a government informant and record his conversations with Corozzo. After Corozzo's release from prison on June 10, 2004, Corozzo was again expected to take over Gambino crime family. However, due to increased law enforcement attention, he initially kept a low profile. The Gambinos were reportedly led by Jackie D'Amico until 2005. Corazzo kept his position as a Caporgime, 
despite health concerns and tight parole restrictions. In 2006, a new report stated that Nicholas Carozzo and the Amico were the new bosses of the Gambino family, with Arnold Zeke Squidieri as underboss and Joseph Carozzo as consigliere. Indictment imprisoned in February 2008, Carozzo was indicted twice, one for the federal operation Old Bridge and the other for the state operation Touchback. The federal indictment was for the 1996 Arena and Maranga murders and other racketeering charges, with Volaro as their main witness. The state indictment, prosecuted by Queens County District Attorney Richard A. Brown, Organized Crime and Rackets Bureau Chief Gerard A. Assistant District Attorney Benjamin J. Mantel, included a top count of enterprise corruption surrounding a Queens-based gambling ring that grossed almost $10 million over two years from sports betting. Amid a roundup of 62 mobsters named in an indictment, Carozo had fled his Long Island home. The FBI searched intensively for Carozo and the television program America's Most Wanted did a feature on him. On May 29, 2008, after four months as a fugitive, Carozo walked into the FBI's New York City office and surrendered. In July 2008, Carozo pleaded guilty to the state enterprise corruption charges. On April 17, 2009, Carozo was sentenced to 13 and a half years in federal prison for 1996 Arena and Marangla murders. Corozo was originally incarcerated at the United States Penitentiary, Leavenworth a medium security facility in Leavenworth, Kansas, but was later moved to the Federal Correctional Complex, Florence, a high security facility in Florence, Colorado. As of March 2015, is incarcerated at the Federal Correctional Institution, Loretto, a low security facility in Loretto, Pennsylvania. As of March 2018, Carozo was imprisoned at the Low Security Federal Correctional Institution, Allenwood Low in Allenwood, Pennsylvania. His projected release date is March 2, 2020. Corozo was released from prison on November 29, 2019. References Further reading K. Pesci, Jerry. The Complete Idiot's Guide to the Mafia. Indianapolis. Alpha Books, 2002. ISBN 0-02-864225-2. Rob Selwyn. Five Families. The Rise, Decline, and Resurgence of America's Most Powerful Mafia Empires. New York. St. Martin Press, 2005. ISBN 0-312-30094-8. United States. Congress. Senate. Committee on Governmental Affairs. Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. Organized Crime. 25 years after Valachi. Hearings before the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations of the Committee on Governmental Affairs. 1988. 1. External Links Wanted. One Boss for Notorious Crime Family by Tom Troncone. The One That Got Away. Caught. WCBS 880.